Cancer. You need to know this right now for July the 15th through July the 16th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for July the 15th through July the 16th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for July the 15th through July the 16th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for July the 15th through July the 16th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Cancer, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Cancer, these are your cards, honey. So, Cancer, you have the Eight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Eight of Cups. But Cancer, it is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment, so listen, Cancer, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. So Cancer, look at, listen, you can tell me that you're returning here to restore you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics, or commitment, or you're leaving, and it's ending. You could be leaving to go towards family. Cancer, you have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also, the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Cancer. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else, causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So listen, Cancer, could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Cancer. Clarify the devil 
for cancer. Clarify the devil for cancer. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So listen, Cancer, you're telling me you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome and you're just wanting to release it. Cancer, you can tell me because something is toxic here, you're cutting off, you're releasing this burden, you're walking away and ending things here. But you could also tell me that you're releasing a burden and you're going into some type of legal binding contract, filing some type of legal documentation or paperwork, returning because someone's speaking on commitment here. So we'll see whether you're leaving or returning. Cancer, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Six of Cups for Cancer. Clarify the Six of Cups for Cancer. It is clarified with the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. <clears throat> Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for cancer. Clarify the hermit for cancer. Clarify the hermit for cancer. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups again, again. So you could be walking away or returning. So I feel like you're telling me that, hey, you know, maybe something that happened in the past is being brought back up here and you're thinking about walking away. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture making it toxic. So you're thinking about walking away. However, you can tell me that you're thinking long and hard about returning and reuniting here. Hmm. Cancer. You have the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Cancer. Clarify the Empress for Cancer. Clarify the Empress for Cancer. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one wields to sever a relationship. So, Cancer, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using a sword to sever. Now, Cancer, you can tell me that you guys are communicating about nurturing the relationship further. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity here. Is someone expecting our children involved here? You can tell me that you're needing to make a decision, okay, whether or not to nurture the relationship further or not, or you're deciding to use this sword to sever and leave. I don't know where you're going. Coming or going, coming or going. Cancer, you have yourself, the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. 
This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So, Cancer, this is you. Clarify the queen of cups. For Cancer. Clarify the queen of cups. For Cancer. What about Cancer? What about Cancer? Clarify the queen of cups. For Cancer, it is clarified with the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Cancer, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. You know, Cancer, I feel like you're having to make a choice, a decision here. This is what you're contemplating here. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for you and your partner, Cancer. Are you coming or going? If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I know we have a soul connection. I've been doing some research. I know we have a soul connection. I've been doing some research. Okay. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Cancer. And it says, I replay our conversations over and over. I replay our conversations over and over. Cancer, you need to know this right now for July the 15th through July the 16th, 2024. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.